Elsa Bloodstone in Battlegrounds is legitimately absurd. Like, she is actually one of the best skill attackers, and I feel like no one talks about her. And I'm just gonna show you some completely ridiculous fights with Elsa, and I'm gonna split the video into two halves. One is in a generic Battlegrounds meta, and this will be the early parts of the videos. And then the other one's gonna be in a damage inflation meta, and what I'll explain what that means a little bit later. But we're gonna fight this Photon first, and this is part of a meta where we're getting power stinged and we are purifying debuffs a bit. However, it doesn't really matter because Elsa would be purifying debuffs anyway, just with her natural purify. And we just kill this rank 5 Ascended Photon in, in uh, 31 seconds, I believe. So rank 5 Ascended Photon equal ranks 31 seconds. We barely took any damage to. That's... That's just really good start. So um, next up we have a rank two Chavez, and this is from the current Battlegrounds meta. So basically nothing happens as long as I don't get hit because she can crit through the block a bit, but it doesn't really matter. And um, she is going to throw her SP1 here. So we are going to trigger Mystic Dispersion by Dexing, but that's okay. Cause we're going to kill so fast it doesn't even matter. Um, I want to bait out one more special, and then I was just like, never mind, screw it. I'm just going to go for an SP2. And then we throw the SP2, we get a decent bit of crits. Uh, we're going to block a little bit of the SP2 and then dex out of it. And yeah, she's just kind of dead. Um, so that was 36 seconds with no way to purify debuffs. So uh, that's good. Uh, next up, I have a Werewolf by Night. And the thing I like to say about Werewolf by Night is I like to just kill him as fast as possible so that I don't ever have any chance of getting ruptures on the block and taking my health down that way. Um, so this is an unduped Werewolf by Night so he is a bit easier to fight, but he is still annoying I think and um, we are going to be throwing the SP2 as soon as I get there and I need to bait out his special attack along the way. Um, but he doesn't really want to throw it immediately, so I'm just like, you never mind, I'm just gonna throw mine anyway. So we were like a, a rank punching down, I believe, because this was a rank 1 werewolf by night, but also if it was a rank 2, if I just, you know, took time to bait out the special, it wouldn't have mattered, so... Okay, now I've even got some, like, semi-unideal matchups to show you, and starting with this Fant Man here, and the reason this is not necessarily ideal is because uh, glancing obviously makes it to where she can't crit that often, so that's just an inconvenience. And he also reduces the duration of Incinerate, so this is the highest achievable Fant Man you can place in Battlegrounds, as is a rank 5 Ascended, and I'm just gonna see how fast she can take it, even though she is gonna have to deal with the glancing sometimes, and the Incinerate duration being very small, so. Um, I'm going to try to use my counter evade to hit his dash attack, and what that will do is count as an intercept if I can get the counter evade to get his dash attack, which is really nice. Um, we are chipping him down. I decided to go for an SP1 at the start, just to give me the precision to help my damage a bit. Block the SP2 a little bit, just because I don't like dexing it when he has the power detonation on me, as if I mess it up, I am literally just dead, so we're not going to go there. And I throw the SP2, does a good bit of damage, we place some more buster debuffs, so if we can land some crits, we do even more damage, and he's dead in 60 seconds, having to deal with sometimes him having glancing and armor ups that had to work around and the incinerates barely ticking for anything. So next up is Killmonger. You place debuffs on Killmonger, he gains power. Um, this is a rank one Killmonger, so again, we are punching down a bit, but still, um, this is gonna be a pretty impressive fight if I do say so myself. Um, we are going to place debuffs and that's gonna give him power gain, but as long as we manage his power when he's not uh, in reverberation so that we can set it up to where when he does go into re reverberation it's not going to be too potent. We'll be kind of fine. I baited the SP1, he has some reverb but it's only giving me like a hundred damage so it's okay. This was a stream clip so the clip is a little bit choppy but that's alright. I hope it is at least. Um, so anyway, I'm throwing my uh, incinerates and now I'm just waiting for the reverb and then I'm going to trigger it there. Um, it is going to hit me a little bit for more damage, but at the same time, the SP2, we have the bullet shots, and they're obviously non-contact, so I don't take any reverb from those. And he's almost dead, so yeah. Um, we need to get some crits there, we did, and then he's down in 62 seconds, which is pretty good. 
Um, next up, actually this is where we're going to start showing the damage inflation meta, and this is a meta where I got power stings on myself, and if I get power stings then I can cleanse them and gain a precision. And basically getting the precision just means you don't have to throw an SP1, which is really sick. Um, because I don't always want to throw the SP1 if I can help it, I like going straight for SP2. But um, because we get that precision, there's no reason to go for the SP1, because if you throw the SP1, it's usually just for that precision. And just look at this Quicksilver getting completely destroyed. Um, we throw the SP2, and it does so much overkill, and we killed that Quicksilver in 30 seconds. That's, yeah. So um, next up we have an Absorbing Man. And in Absorbing Man, you really just want to try to keep his forms limited if you can't help it. So I might want to alternate baiting his SP1 and then bait his SP2 or something like that. But um, the more you can keep him um, not in a form, the better, because um, Elsa does do physical damage a lot. But you also don't want to let him um, get in a magma form, because then you won't be able to place any incinerates or cold snaps and stuff like that. So. Um, let's see. In this meta, I think there might have been power focus or something, because, yeah, you can see his power bar barely going up, so we can just kind of cheese him at this point. Uh, we go for an evade there, Mystic Dispersion triggers, but it's okay, and then we're gonna go for another combo, and he's just kind of dead, so, uh, that was an abs man in how long? Like, 43 seconds? Yeah. All right, next up we have Anti-Venom. Um, I think this is a rank five ascended Anti-Venom, and obviously you don't see Anti-Venom on defense a lot, but it is a really fun matchup for Elsa, just because he's giving you non-damaging debuffs to purify. And if you purify non-damaging debuffs, you get the precision, you get the precision, you crit more, you crit more, you get more damage. So it's a really good time, and yeah, it's 20 seconds in, his health has already basically gone before we even throw a special attack. Um, I'm gonna throw it as soon as the power sting gets purified, and it's gonna get purified. Never mind, I'm not gonna purify, I'm just gonna go for it, and he just kinda dies. So, yeah, that's Anti-Venom, um, 32 seconds. I barely have any time to talk over these fights because of how fast they're going. Um, next up we have Gore, and Gore, Elsa is pretty decent for him, even without a damage, uh inflation meta just because you have despair to out damage the healing so if you bait sp1s most of the time you're kind of chilling um this is a meta where i cannot stun him um actually yeah it's uh stunning reflection so the incinerates are going to turn that off a bit which is actually quite nice um but i don't really want to parry anyway because it's gore and i don't want debuffs in my block so uh this is not a damage inflation meta i'm probably gonna have to fix that in the time codes once i make it but um this is a regular meta rank 2 gore um, no damage inflation because we don't have any non-damaging debuffs to get on ourselves and we're just gonna see how fast she can do it so an, an ideal scenario is I go SP1 into SP2 and we're gonna see what happens I'm gonna trigger my last buster why am I going double SP1 I don't know why I did that so this could be a lot faster okay I took this fight so long ago um this sh that should have been SP1 SP2 uh, maybe I was worried about my Maybe I was worried about not having enough rounds or something. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Um, so we did that, which wasted a bunch of time. And now we're going for an SP2, which does not kill. But we're going to get the relic, I assume. Yeah, we get the relic. And that's a gore down in 73 seconds. When that should have been, honestly, like, what? 55? I don't know. Uh, no, okay, so that's cool. Alright, last up we have Sauron. And this is not a damage inflation meta. There's no power stings in this one i don't think at least yeah this is stun reflect once again so um we are just going to kind of get to the sp2 and kind of kill him unless i sp1 first that took this fight a long time ago i don't remember um what are we doing here what are we doing here i am just kind of doing nothing okay we sp1 that's cool uh sp1 gets rid of the stun reflect so it's not a bad idea but i really don't ever want to go more than one sp1 that was a mistake in the gore fight so yeah, um, we're going to tr trigger our last round of each, I think, and then once I get to the SP2, I ideally have my Hellfire rounds back, and then I can throw an SP2, and it's going to place the Hellfire and the Incinerates and stuff again. So uh, just note that if you ever get degenerated against Sauron, um, you are legit dead, because you do not want to incinerate a duped Sauron or bleed him. Uh, it's very, very bad. Don't ever do that. So... Um, you don't want to find out why. 
just don't just if you get degen don't don't incinerate sauron it's a very bad idea anyway thank you so much for watching elsa is probably my favorite skill champ in the game like she's legit just so good and uh she's really untalked about and i hope to spread the elsa love a good bit so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one